you to stand up and clench your fist like this. And go like this if you have. Go like this. I have. Go like this. You've done it. You know that. You go ahead and sit down. Hurting someone is ugly and mean, you guys. It's ugly and mean, isn't it? You don't like it when somebody hurts you. We shouldn't hurt others. Jesus was willing to be hurt and beaten because he loves us. Jesus knew he had to die for us. 
But we could never see God in heaven because we're so full of sin. After Jesus died, his friends took his body and placed it in a dark tomb. Then they went home. What else could they do? Jesus was dead. The light was gone. Jesus is the light now. Now the light is gone. Jesus was dead. And they thought there was no hope, you guys. There's no hope. I want you to think about what Jesus went through. All the pain that he felt, think of how he could have stopped it. But he didn't stop them. You know, Jesus is God. He didn't stop them. Because God made a promise to us that he was going to send Jesus, the Messiah, to die for us. And if Jesus didn't die on that cross, we could never see God ever one day in eternity. So he had to do it. Jesus knew he had to die for you and me. So then three long days later, Jesus' friends went to the tomb to prepare Jesus' body for the burial. It was about sunrise. And when they got there, they saw sunrise. Guys, something incredible. The huge stone that had been placed in the entrance had been rolled away, and they looked inside and they saw two angels in dazzling white robes. Jesus' love for us is more powerful than sin and more powerful than death, you guys, because Jesus is not there anymore. He's alive. He's alive today. Aren't you happy? He's alive. Jesus was willing to die on the cross to take the punishment for our sins. And when he came back to life, he defeated death. He defeated death, you guys. There's no more death for us. When we believe in Jesus, all of the wrong things that we do are forgiven. And when we can be with him forever in heaven, I am so thankful for Jesus and his love. Aren't you? Yes. Aren't you thankful for Jesus? I want you to repeat after me and bow your heads. And I want you to learn this new prayer. Some of you already know it. And then some of you, it's kind of a little different. It's called the Lord's Prayer. So bow your heads and repeat after me, okay? Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon. May your will In Jesus' name.